Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, everyone. By the way, I just want you guys to know that I'm a normal bloke, yeah? I like a few beers on the weekend, turn the edge off. A bit of cocaine, put the edge back on. <laughs> Look, things go well for me at the moment. I just moved out of my parents' house. They insisted. <laughs> uh, I only moved back for a little bit because I was trying to save up a little bit of money. So, like, I moved back. Like, I'm another victim of Cosy Lib. Uh, the only issue was that my room got turned into an office a week after I left. Nine years ago. My sister's room was like she died. Never changed. I go to bed every night in a bed that was too small for me, with a sign on one side that said, Real Queens Fix Each Other's Crowns. And on the other side, happy girls are the prettiest. <laughs> I didn't sleep good, but I woke up every morning ready to smash the patriarchy. <laughs> Even after all the encouragement, like, I'm very self-conscious. I'm very self-conscious about my weight. It's quite a lot of it. Woo! <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> wearing a baggy t-shirt, it's not that obvious. Uh, so I googled the best way to lose weight quickly and Google told me it's to increase your heart rate as much as you can. So I stopped taking my anxiety and depression medication. <laughs> Panicking away the pounds. Fretting away the fat. Crying away the calories. So far I've only lost the will to live. <laughs> so I went on the dark web and I bought some dodgy weight loss pills, yeah? Which turned out to be speed. <laughs> I'm eating less, but I'm chewing a hell of a lot more. <laughs> that didn't work either. So now I'm sand. Not fast. <laughs> like a miserable Ferrari. <laughs> the good thing is I'm quite tall. You know, I can hide the weight and put it in places where like little people can't see. <laughs> Everyone thinks it's great being tall, yeah? But I can never live in a cottage. <laughs> can't wear a trench coat. <laughs> I look like two children trying to sneak into a cinema. <laughs> At work, I get referred to as Big Connor. <laughs> There's not another Connor. <laughs> when I piss my girlfriend off, she sends me to the giraffe house. <laughs> I'm awful at paintball. I'm just a big, slow-moving target. Every time I run from tree to tree, it looks like lost Bigfoot footage. <laughs> Paintball is the best way to check up on your mate's mental health, yeah? If you're ever worried about your mates, take a paintball in. When it's all kicking off, your mates are sitting at the back, preserved, yeah? They're probably doing okay. Still check up on them. Your mates who run head first into the bullets, they've got nothing to live for. <laughs> Check up on them. <laughs> You're one mate, yeah? There's always one mate. He's sitting at the back, gun in his mouth crying. <laughs> Shouldn't have bought him. <laughs> Definitely check up on him. <laughs> I don't have a big person job. I'm a watchmaker by day and I do comedy by night. Like a shit Batman villain. <laughs> I shouldn't be a watchmaker because I'm dyspraxic. I know we've already had one person here. Does anyone know what dyspraxia is? Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, dyspraxia is basically we have poor motor skills. Uh, so I'm dyspraxic, but I'm also ambidextrous, which means I'm shit with both hands. <laughs> The way that I got told at school was handled so badly, I got taken out of class and the doctor said, you sit the fuck down. Do you mind a few five minutes? Nah, fuck it, I'll have okay. fun. <laughs> I got sent for a few tests. Simple stuff, you know, spelling checks, using a knife and fork. Can't spell. Every bit of food I eat turns into mash. Afterwards, the doctor sat me down and went, look, Connor, you're dyspraxic. It's not your fault, it's your parents. <laughs> look, Harry Potter's dyspraxic and he's doing well. <laughs> they meant the actor, Daniel Radcliffe. I thought I'd just been diagnosed with being a wizard. <laughs> I thought I was going to Hogwarts. Turned out to be a different classroom with the other fantastic beasts. <laughs> I was walking around trying to cast spells, but couldn't spell. I can't spell Yarmus. And look, ladies and gentlemen, you're a lovely people, so I'm just going to like open up to you guys here, yeah? Nothing in this life makes you look more like you have learning disabilities than thinking you can do magic. My name's Thomas Hayden, thank you very much.